in cheese death new dude cheese is so nasty man because you're cheese. lactose intolerant so no. you want to tell yourself you hate I it i like uh the pizza cheese is that mozzarella? the mozzarella? mozzarella? The stringy cheese? Uh -huh. I like the cheddar cheese. I like the Mexican cheese. That's a lot of cheese. I like the <laughs> yeah. nacho cheese. What the, what's your problem? Blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> blue cheese is the problem. Have you had a blue cheese burger though? I bet you'll love it. That's just bomb. <laughs> Submitted by Steven, or Stefan. A father of two has died after eating nacho cheese sauce from a gas station. What died? Death by a lethal nacho. There's this gas station. Outside of Sacramento, you're Whoa, good. Whoa, Sacktown 916, bitch, what's good? Yeah, so outside of Sacramento, there's this gas station. I'm not gonna help you, because I'm LA. It looks like this. Oh, why would you buy anything edible from that place? That's true. All I heard was nachos, and I got hungry. So this is what the gas station looks Why would you buy nachos from there? I would, that just looks like something I grew up around. No. It's gotta be a chain for me to buy it from like- No! It's gotta be like an AM, PM, or a 7-Eleven or something. Hey, this place looked like it was stitched up with garbage. Look at the spacing of the D and foo. <laughs> foo, D, and fuel. <laughs> that shit's ghetto, I ain't buying no nachos from there. You trying to go to Valley Oak Foo D and Fuel? Mm -mm. <laughs> Valley Oak Foo D and Fuel. That should look like a gas station that's normal. No. Not for food. Nine people that have been hospitalized and one person that has died. Did somebody yeah. fucking take a dump in the nacho cheese or something? That many people bought nacho cheese. They ate yeah. that nacho cheese, yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh. did you just say nine people bought that many nacho cheese? <laughs> nine people went to buy nacho cheese. No, or, You're surprised at nine people buying nacho cheese? <laughs> well, no, no, at that one particular location. Oh. There's probably know. nine people that bought it in like one hour. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so there have been nine reports of people being hospitalized linked to That's this cheese. Sad. So there could be many more. That just didn't know. Yeah, because they're saying that oh. this is a gas station that like, you know, there's there's a lot of travelers that go through it. So it's not just the people of that town uh -oh. that have been affected. Oh, so what's wrong with the taste? Yeah, so what happened was Someone that fucked up. this cheese uh, was tested positive with uh, botulism. So, what does that mean? No, so it means that it got contaminated. Is that a bacteria? So what yeah. this does is it gives you droopy eyelids Blurred vision, slurge, slurred speech, and paralysis. That's like me every day when I get tired. Damn, so you're just like, you can't move anything? There was, there's someone that actually got completely paralyzed. One of the nine people hospitalized, oh they got completely How paralyzed. Is this person who owns this uh, foo and D place <laughs> uh, gonna, gonna go to jail for that shit? So right now they're investigating to see where the contamination happened, whether it was at the gas station or at the cheese manufacturing. Factory. Cause what, whoever has the cheese is fucking getting sick anywhere around the world. Yeah, and there's, Damn. you could die, it's crazy. Dude, I ain't trying to die from nacho cheese, man. <laughs> I know. That's a terrible fucking way to go. I mean like, don't that shit get boiled up in a very hot thing and then- Yeah, so they're shit. saying that botulism, it, like that, uh, this toxin, can be killed if With it's like boiled. So they didn't boil it properly. Yeah, I'm it was not probably sure. left at a very, very like a like a lukewarm type of temperature, and that's where it just stews bacteria. Oh, oh dear. That's the same toxin that they use like with Botox. That's, that's where I heard it before. I didn't know where what it was exactly. I just knew it was bad. <laughs> Botox. Yeah. Ugh. It has that. That's why that's I said. That's what they inject into the muscles, which yeah. like it paralyzes your muscles, so it like freezes it, and that's why people can't like move their face. Why the fuck? Would you put a bad fucking deadly disease in your fucking face to be beautiful? But that's what I'm saying. That's when you when you fools took me to that fucking Chinese restaurant with that with lukewarm water next to that garbage can and shit. I was like, yo, well, I don't think this is safe. That's You're place, talking man. about rolling water? Yes, yes, I am. This is delicious. Get the fuck out of here, dude. That place is disgusting. If, if you could get that much food for four dollars. It makes it taste really good. But you ain't broke no more. But, but the memories of when I was broke made me smile. This bacteria is commonly found in soil and sediments from lakes, rivers, and oceans. It thrives in low oxygen conditions such as like canned foods, nacho cheese, deep wounds, and intest and the intestinal tract. Tract. So that's what they're saying. Like that's where it really, really thrives, and that a lot of canned foods 
tend to have this toxin. Oh, but I love kensu. Don't eat that. It's so bad. Hold on. I should restate that because it's not that a lot of canned foods. It's just that this is typically found That's where it can in canned oh. can food. Yeah. So just to be clear. One more again. Just make sure you fucking heat your shit to a boiling point, motherfucker. Mm. I scorch my food. Can you boil nacho cheese though before it burns? You're supposed to. So it comes in a powder and then it goes and it turns into that freaking goo that's delicious. Oh, I guess I've never seen that. Yellow jizz. Do they put water on it? Or is it just heat? I think it just milk. heat from what I've seen. You know yeah. the macaroni and cheese? The one that is <laughs> like a berbita or a craft? Yeah. <sighs> that kind of fake cheese, man. Yellow five. Give me that fucking yellow five and no milk <laughs> cheese. <laughs> fucking plastic chemical shit. Like cooking shows like that, right? It's like, well, today we're going to have this delicious nacho cheese. We're going to add a little yellow five in there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're saying that you can't smell this toxin, you can't see it, which is like conflicting what they're saying because they're like, so be careful what you eat, but it's like, well then you're not helping me. Like how am I gonna figure well, this out if it's there? Don't go to any food D <laughs> and delis. Yeah. You could don't. die from anything. You know, they found out um in in a Hawaii they have a rat lungworm disease. It's this thing where like they rats have parasites. It comes from Southeast Asia and then they take a dookie and then they die, and then a fucking slug comes and eats that dookie, and now the slug is a carrier of that shit. And then if they have a snail trail on your lettuce, on your motherfucking vegetables, and you don't thoroughly wash that shit, you get that shit. That's why I don't eat no vegetables. Fuck yeah, fuck vegetables. You could do it in anything. You go, oh, vegetables are healthy, and you get fucking parasites. Well, if oh. you don't clean them right, yeah. Fruits are so good, and you get fucking E. coli. What the fuck, man? You gotta be fucking careful with your shit, though, people, man. Gotta clean and wash that stuff. You know what's actually very, very difficult? Uh, eating eating constantly without eating processed food. Oh, yeah. You know, like going every day without eating something that hasn't been processed. Whether it's bread. That's just fucking hard, man. Yeah. Like after a while, let's say yeah, you go a whole hard. day with just I eating vegetables, fruits, and meat, right? The next day, you don't want that shit. Fuck, man. Give me some Doritos. Yeah, like Hawaiian mm -hmm. bread, like Doritos. It's because we're addicted to it. So it becomes hard because you want the uh, your brain to be satisfied with the type of reaction you get when you eat sweet stuff or very fatty salty stuff but then whole foods it is what it is it's just a grilled piece of meat and you don't put things on it you don't put like a lot of butter and salt and stuff you just eat the fucking steak grilled like it is the vegetable and then you start going what is life that's exactly what it is man it's I too hard sad. that dopamine level is like i need stimulation so then you get that fucking piece of candy and you go oh that's what i was missing my brother used to be uh, chunkier too uh, but he lost all this fucking weight and this was during a time that he went on this like fitness craze thing and he kind of just basically did the whole uh fucking wolverine diet <laughs> i'm sorry i fucking forgot his name but it was when he was just doing uh chicken and broccoli but instead of doing a uh, chicken breast because it was too expensive my brother did a uh, ground turkey because you could buy that at bulk at costco and you could also buy broccoli at bulk and he also took multivise and he ate that with rice so he did that for like six months straight worked out and this fool got fucking cut and jacked like a motherfucker. It's, it's, it's pretty uh, hardcore, because he just kind of did that straight up unprocessed food diet. And it worked out, but six months of that shit is pretty miserable. Hey, what is going on, JK News fans? Hope you guys liked that episode. Remember to follow our personal social medias, and of course, if you want to watch more videos, my friends, you know where to go, you cocksuckers. Right up there.